Hey everybody, Rolling Rock Shop. Um, some quick info on the uh, 10 hour endurance race. Let's see if I can cover all this. Alright, um, we'll start off at the beginning. Registration. Registration will begin at 8.30. Got it right. Registration will be at 8. Drivers meeting at 8.30. Start line at 9. Uh, you will register. Come up to the table. What's your name? Team name. Here's your wristband. $5 for the uh, park fee. And uh, you will go to the next table. I'm still running this through my head. You go to the next table, you will get your driver's bags. You will have your goodies and your driver's team number. Everybody gets a number. No assigned numbers. <clears throat> it is what it is. In the order you come up, you'll just get handed a driver's bag. They're all the same, except the numbers. When you register, your number will be uh, beside your team name. Um, at the start line, it's going to be a quick start. We're not all going at once. You'll be going one at a time, two to five seconds apart. First guy's going to come up. I'm going to say one, two, go. Next guy's going to come up. I'm going to say one, two, go. And so on. Everybody's just going to be a rapid fire, one after the other. Um, Let's do the uh, fastest lap five dollar pot. The fastest lap five dollar pot is once you once the event has started, you or one of your teammates, however you decide, if you're running solo, two man, three man teams, will decide on one driver to compete for the fastest lap. What you will do once you decide to do that is come up to the table. After you finished previous lap, you will put your team name put your team name on a post-it note at the table where I'm at. Say Team Rock Shop. You will put your start time. Your start time could be in ten seconds, thirty seconds, or five minutes away. That's up to you, but you are your time starts at the time you write down. So say, Rock Shop, I just did my first lap. I'm coming in, and I'm going to start in five minutes, and the time is 9.35, so I'm going to put 9.40 a.m. Bam. I'm going to put a check at 9.40. Your time has started. You should already be on the course booking it. You will finish stage one and two to make a lap. And as soon as you complete stage two and you come back, you will come back to my table, find your name, and you will find your, or write down your completed time. Say, I did it in whatever that is. Okay. I'll put another check that you check back in. That's it. That's all you do. That's your fastest time. I'll put this to the side in the pile with the rest of them. And one of my assistants will tally up all the times. Fastest time wins. Easy as that. Um, let's do the... Everybody knows no hand of God no foot of God. You know, don't pick your rig up and flop it back on this lid. Get you a tow rope and pull it back upright. Or use your winch. That's totally up to you. Um, chassis must be scale. We all know that drill. Uh, like the axial wraith, the axial bomber, uh, custom tube rig, 
it's just gotta look scale that's the whole theme of this event is scale I want it to be as scale as possible um, only the team classes only the team classes are the small tires 1.5 through 1.9 the only 2.2 two class is solo yes you can stretch 1.9s over 2.2 two rims that's fine uh, food will be there and uh, we'll be at the pavilion by the bathhouse so there will be restrooms nearby all that uh, there will be power uh, you will probably need to bring your own extension cords and power strips there may not be enough outlets for everybody <coughs> Uh, teams. Let's just do the teams real quick. I wanted this thing to be as scale as possible. Okay. So just like King of the Hammers, you got a pit crew. A driver will have a radio. Pit crew will have a radio. The chosen driver sets out on stage one. They'll come back through. Uh, it's up to the team how they divvy up the driving responsibilities. If they want to let one driver complete one lap, one lap is stage one and two complete. Or they want to swap out drivers every stage. Totally up to the team. However, when you're out on stage, you're on a team, you break down, say, stage two, gate 76. You'll get on the radio. Rock shop pit come in. Rock shop pit replies. I strip spur gear, gate 76. I'm going to need support truck with nut driver, Allen wrenches, and the like. Pit replies. Copy that on the way. Easy as that. The support truck will set out, go to stage two gate 76 repair the vehicle both of you will finish the stage together then the pit truck the support truck stays at the pits driver swap out and starts all over again uh, one of the guys posted what if the support truck breaks down if the support truck breaks down you're both out on stage one of you has got to run back to the pits if you're on a three-man team, you can have the third man run out parts to you. Two-man team is going to be... I'll take that back. Only two drivers, only two people on the team allowed on stage at a time. That'll make it fair for the two-man teams and the three-man team. Cool deal. You heard it. Only two drivers allowed on stage at once. If you're on a team. Uh, teams need to get some walkie talkies uh, the cell phone reception is not a not a up in them hills uh, walkie talkies be the way to go these right here are about 35 bucks it's actually a ham radio and you can also listen to the weather and FM radio on it I would highly recommend getting some of these just just to have really because if you just happen to go hiking, you fall and hurt yourself, you have no cell reception, you might just get out to somebody with this ham radio. Uh, solo driver, if you break down on stage, you will turn off your vehicle, turn off your radio, and unplug it. That way there's no chance of any fire while you're away from your vehicle. We don't want the part to burn down. You will leave your vehicle where it broke down, run back to your pits, grab the needed parts, go back to your truck, and fix it. Complete the stage, leave the tools at your pits, go back out on the next stage. Easy as that. Um, as many laps in 10 hours as you can get. Uh, if you want to run, you can run. If you want to walk, you can walk. 
totally up to you. There will be one one driver's challenge, and that's going to be a dart throw. According to what color you hit and number, it could be a time bonus, or it could be a time penalty, or it could be nothing. That's the only driver's challenge that will be out there. Uh, Rain or shine, it's going down. Come prepared. Might bring you a poncho. As far as spectators out on the course, if there was if there's a place for them to actually sit and stay, I don't mind it. But if they're going to be walking beside you, possibly being a problem for other competitors, I'm not going to allow it. Um, my event, I try to focus solely on the drivers. I want them to have the best time they can possibly have. I want them to have adventure, fun, and it to be a challenge. I don't want it to be a cakewalk. I want them to say, man, that was pretty tough. Was it not doable, but it was tough. Uh, oh yes, no alcohol at the event. Afterwards, you're, that's at your own discretion. But during the event time, from eight to six, no alcohol whatsoever. If I smell alcohol on you or your team, it's not going to be good. We have many sponsors and I am so very humbled that you would want to be a part of my event. Thank you. Uh, several local Arkansas guys have stepped up and sponsored. Like I said before, we will have food on site. Um, I think it's going to be of the Mexican flavor. Tacos, uh, tamales, stuff like that maybe. Uh, we have people coming from Carolina, Florida, Tennessee, Oklahoma, Missouri, Texas. Some even trying to get here from California, Nevada, and Utah. That's just that's amazing. I'm truly humbled by all that. Um, I know I'm I'm umming uh, um and a lot. I'm just trying to make sure everything's covered. Tickets are on sale at uh, rcorva.com. Uh, go to the Facebook page. The 10 hour endurance G6 is what it's labeled under or find me Josh Harris or Roland Rock Shop um, It is going to be I think two two or three people's birthdays that same weekend so there will be possibly birthday cake Who knows? <laughs> and we might have one or two special guests show up. Um, if Parker's not busy, he said he would like to attend. And there's uh, one other one that he's still kind of iffy. So, we'll see. But you gotta be there. You gotta be there. I think that's it. I'm at 15 minutes. I think that's long enough. Um, 
hope to see you guys there. It's going to be a killer event. Uh, the routes I have picked are going to be fun and challenging, <laughs> to say the least. Um, everybody stay safe, and uh, we'll see you when I see you.